Hello, YouTube. I'm sorry the lighting isn't very, is not very good right now. Um, I wanted to share with you a couple prayers out of the Bible and a proverb, or not a proverb, a psalm. Okay, so here it goes. The first prayer that I want to share with you is the serenity prayer. And if you want to know what serenity is, it means total peace. Or as they say in uh, Hebrew, shalom. Um, okay, so here goes the serenity prayer. God, Father God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change. Give me the serenity to change the or the courage to say change the things I can and the wisdom to know the difference. Okay, the next one is the Lord's Prayer and it goes like this. Well, it should probably be called the Apostles' Prayer because G uh, Jesus' Apostles asked Jesus, well, teach us how to pray. Okay, so he said, pray like this. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And give us our daily bread. Uh, wait. Sorry, I'm a little bit tired right now. Let's see. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. And that is the Lord's Prayer, or probably better pronounced the Apostles Prayer. Um and the twenty third Psalm it goes. Uh, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup runs over. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. So those were uh, two prayers and a uh, the twenty third psalm. That was the whole twenty third psalm. The twenty third psalm is one of the shortest, probably the shortest psalm. Um, I'm not sure 
how they sung that, but the songs are supposed to be songs that the Israelites were supposed to sing to God. And uh, they were written by King David. Anyway, um, grace and peace. God bless you and grace and peace to you.